Good day to the participants of the 12th Media Pacta Convention. I'm here to present our published paper titled An Analysis of Online Classes Tweets Using Jeffy Inputs for Online Learning. I am with Dr. Blanca Alejandro, Dr. Michelle May Olvido, and Mr. Isidro Max Alejandro, my colleagues from Cebu Normal University. I am Dr. Jojo P. Sanchez, a faculty of the College of Teacher Education of Cebu Normal University, presenting. During the pandemic, the transition to online learning has emerged as an unavoidable option. However, online learning has come with the challenges as the realities of the digital divide and lack of necessary accommodations have come up, especially among students who are deemed very vulnerable. In the Philippines, the implementation of online classes has been met by varying reactions as evident in social media. The hashtag academic freeze now became the top trending topic on September 3, 2020, as colleges around the country opened the school year. This reveals that the sentiments towards the implementation of online classes are widely discussed over social media. Trending topics on Twitter provide a picture of information sharing behavior of people. The interaction between users create a network that influences the formation of beliefs. With this, the study looks into Twitter networks on the discussion of online classes, as these networks can provide valuable inputs for educators in the implementation of online learning. The study employed the textual mining analysis that was divided into two phases. The first phase was the collection of tweets or retweets on hashtag online classes from Filipino users. Node XL was used to process data from these tweets, extracting rich data. Then the data were cleaned by including only the crucial data for the study and removing irrelevant data. After pre-processing and data cleaning, the second phase commenced, the social network analysis. This analysis was done using the Jeffy software, following the directed graph and force atlas to algorithm. In this analysis, the node represents the users while the edges are the retweets serving as the interaction with other users. The resulting network was analyzed for trends and data stories through the visualized outcomes of the network analysis. The network analysis revealed this network from the tweets on hashtag online classes. Statistical descriptions show that there were 2,278 users who tweeted hashtag online classes and 998 interactions were detected among these users. Due to very low clustering coefficient, there were around 1,324 communities. The top eight communities have at most 63 users and at least 15 users. Here is the table of description of the top communities. These communities have influential users who act as the primary nodes of the edges in such modularities. All of the influential users identify themselves to be located in the Philippines, while four users indicated that they also live in USA and Eastern Asia. Most of the influencers joined the community in 2018 to 2019, have followed other users more than a thousand times, and are followed by at least 1,200 users. Of these top communities, non-branching communities dominate in the network. The top community being encircled has 63 edges and talked about the negative impact of online classes, 
to mental health. This is followed by this community of 26 edges, which promoted selling of products to buy gadgets for online classes. Trailing closely is the 24 interaction community whose topic dwelt around the logging of online classes due to the bad internet connectivity they had. There were also 18 interactions on the message that they were being certified of a course online, while around 17 edges were engagements on the difficulty in online classes. Lastly, there were 15 engagements on delayed falls due to attendance in online classes. Not only non-branching communities were found as top communities, two branching communities were also in the top list. 52 edges were detected in this community. Tweeting, retweeting, or mentioning about asking donations for the lack of online equipment and around 26 edges from this community talks about stress brought about by online classes. Content analysis on the said tweets yielded two themes. The first theme suggests that online classes are challenging to the students. Mental health, online learning, and characteristic difficulty of online classes are the challenges shared by the communities in the social network. On the positive note, the second theme signifies that online networks also offer opportunities. Online classes offer opportunities to be informed about the condition of students and help them in one way or another and to be certified online given attendance to online classes. A topic network can be produced from the tweets in this network that you are seeing, there is a high proportion of users in communities and slightly less isolates in the network. We call this as cluster network or community network. Cluster network indicated that the topic on online classes have attracted spontaneous conversations among different groups of individuals, including students, artists, and even businessmen. Each of online classes' conversations ignite multiple views, reflecting the diversity of opinions on the subject matter. Hence, Filipino users are divided when it comes to their opinions and experiences about online classes. As a conclusion, the network of online classes tweets can be described as a community cluster. Smaller groups of users who engaged in aspects of online classes emerged in the network, signifying that Filipinos have different points of view about the topic. Sentiment sharing through social networks provides an avenue for sharing challenges and building communities that help address these challenges for online learning in the pandemic. Three policy recommendations were formulated by the researchers based on the results of the study. Number one policy recommendation is the provision of psychosocial and technical support for students. Number two, capacitation of students and faculty for the learning modality for implementation or adoption of a learning modality to the capacity of students and faculty. And lastly, number three, creation of a system of monitoring and evaluation of the implementation of online learning and the provision of intervention when necessary. If you have any question about the study or have an interest to conduct a study with similar methodology, you may connect with me through my email address, sanchezj at cnu.edo.ph. You can read the whole paper at the IGIET website. Thank you so much, Pate, for this opportunity. And thank you so much to everyone for listening. Have a great day ahead. Thank you.